the accounting cycle starts with transactions. And as I'm speaking, transactions are taking uh, place on a daily basis. Now the accountant doesn't get a textbook or exam paper to record this. Transactions in the business world are recorded on source documents. For example, the accountant will use check butts, invoices, receipts, cash register summaries, etc. From there, it is recorded in journals. Um, the general journal is one that most junior accounting students use. Uh, other journals could be a cash payment, cash receipts journal, cash or accounting uh, receivable, accounts payable journals. From there, it's recorded into different ledgers and most students record this in a general ledger, which is either T form or three column format. From there, you will draw up a trial balance, which is a list of accounts with their balances. At the end of the financial period, if you use a crural accounting system, you would do balance day adjustments. You will adjust the accounts and then do financial statements. And the first one you will do is your statement of profit or loss, or also known as income statement. There you determine the profit or the loss that the business made over a specific period. The business will also draw up a statement of financial position. That is our balance sheet. In other words, there we compare assets, owners equity, plus liabilities. And at the end of the financial year, as soon as we get to the very next day of the next financial year, we do the reverse entries for those balance day adjustments. Now, some businesses could also do other statements like a cash flow or a cash budget.